Scientists classify the platypus as a mammal, but it's unlike any other mammal you've ever seen. It's about the size of a house cat with fur thicker than that of a polar bear's. It can store food in its mouth like a chipmunk. It has a beaver-like tail and webbed feet like an otter. It has a bill like a duck and spurs like a rooster. What's more, it lays eggs like a turtle and produces venom like a snake. It does feed its young milk, but not in the normal way. Milk seeps out of pores in its skin like sweat when the female wants to feed its young. If there were ever an animal to call unique, it would be the platypus. This animal has a perfectly designed beaver-like tail, which it uses both to store fat and to maneuver easily in water. Its fur is so dense, with hundreds of hairs per square millimeter, that it can trap a layer of air next to its skin, which works as insulation to keep the platypus warm in cold waters. Platypuses also have wonderfully designed web feet, which work very well both in water and on land. They can flatten their roll-away webbing beyond their claws in order to maximize their movements in water. Then, when they need to walk or run on land or burrow in the riverbank, they can quickly roll back their webbing under their claws. The name platypus, in fact, comes from two Greek words, platy and puss, which, when put together, mean broad foot or flat foot, referring to the animal's amazing webbed feet. Surely most impressive is the fact that the platypus completely closes its eyes and ears underwater when it's searching for food, and yet it finds its prey very effectively. Rather than clumsily tumbling bill first into the bottoms of rivers and streams in hopes of stumbling upon lunch, this curious creature has an extremely sensitive snout. Scientists have learned that the platypus's leathery bill has a complex electroreceptor system in it which allows the platypus to sense even the very weak electric impulses in the muscles of its prey, including earthworms and tadpoles, which often are hiding under the mud and rocks. The more we learn about the platypus, the more we're amazed by this curious creature. Although evolutionists would have us believe that this unique, anatomically and physiologically diverse animal is the product of millions of years of evolution, why not ask yourself if the design and diversity of the duckbill platypus actually declares the existence of a grand designer?